I know what I wanted to begin with, uh, as I have been doing, is a poem to start us off by Hafiz, who is uh, a spiritual poet from about 1325 uh, period. And, and this is a translation of his. And sometimes you hear wonderful poems when you attend an, uh, a class, when you go to higher education and you attend some academic course on poetry, perhaps, or sometimes when you hear a, a well-published poet uh, reading uh, from different circles uh, when you read it in journals or publications. And sometimes you hear good poetry from your yoga teacher. And this is where I received mine and have been sharing it out since. Now is the time. Now is the time to know that everything you do is sacred. Why, oh why, do you throw stones at your heart? Now, why not consider a lasting truce with yourself? Now is the time to understand that all your ideas of right and wrong were just a child's training wheels to be laid aside. When you can live with veracity and love, this is the time for you to consider the impossibility that there is anything in the world but grace. Now is the season to know that everything you do is sacred. I could hold a minute in the fingers of my mind. I could hold a minute, it's not a lot of time. When I was a young child, a minute seemed forever. Now that I am older, I think it's gone forever. We are here before the fuzz falls off the fiddleheads, before the trees have leafed, just after the last snow has fled from the dark places in the woods, where time stands still in the center of the circle. What can we hold here? I could hold a full day in the cupped hands of my mind, pouring out like sand grains from the hourglass of time. Sifting hours and minutes all blending into one, spinning of the axis, and then the day is done. Here we are, before the raspberries turn red and the monkshood bloom purple, before the lake trout rises from the deep, after the dragonflies have pulled their wet wings out of another fragile, dry exoskeleton, in the place where the moment has already disappeared with our breath. What can hold us here? turning seasons and changing of the tides every year is smaller that ends than when begun blink and spin another journey around the sun we are here la, 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 before the fire red leaves have fallen together like a flock of migrating birds la, 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 before the frost has swept over the grasshoppers and the bees have gathered tight la, la, around their queen la, 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 after the brown ferns have fallen, melting into mud, in the place where there is no need to come back because we've never left. Where, where can we go from here? Where can we go from here? I could swim a century in the ocean of my mind. Decades run like currents to a deeper place in time. What was far is nearer than it ever was before And set within my sights, I can see the distant shore Here we are, la, 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 before the light has returned to lengthen the days la, la, Before the snow has drifted up to the edge of the roof After la, 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 the deep freeze has silenced the woods 
where your opening eyes can only find now? What moment can meet you here? What moment can meet you here? I could scan a millennia in the vision of my mind Flash across the universe to the end of time Fills my heart with music of celestial blazing light And it all becomes one moment in the fingers In the fingers of my mind Thank you. A small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. Nineteen rows will I have a hive for the honeybee and live all alone in the bee loud And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow. Dropping from the veils of morning to where the cricket sings. The midnight's all a glimmer, a new two poems by my favorite poet, Philip Larkin. He's an English poet. And uh, I like poetry because I write short fiction and it tends to overlap with poetry. It's about one emotional moment that's short. And if you're interested in uh, my collection, it's back there. You can take a copy. I don't need the money. Give it to Cheryl in her uh, basket if you take a copy. Larkin's poem, Days. What are days for? Days are where we live. They come, they wake us. Time and time over, they are to be happy in. Where can we live but days? Ah, solving that question brings a priest and the doctor in their long coats running over the fields. 
Home is so sad. Home is so sad, it stays as it was left, shaped to the comfort of the last to go, as if to win them back. Instead, bereft of anyone to please, it withers so, having no heart to put aside the theft, and turn again to what it started as, a joyous shot at how things ought to be, long fallen wide. You can see how it was. Look at the pictures and the cutlery, the music and the piano stool, that vase. <laughs> Thanks. Here's a poem I, I took from the uh, New Yorker by, hmm, where is it? By Bob Hickok, um, who appears there from time to time. It's called A Primer. I remember Michigan fondly as the place I go to be in Michigan. The right hand of America waving from maps, or the left pressing into clay, a mold to take home from kindergarten to mother. I lived in Michigan 43 years. The state bird is a chained factory gate. The state flower is Lake Superior, which sounds egotistical, though it is merely cold and deep as truth. A Midwesterner can use the word truth, can sincerely use the word sincere. In truth, the Midwest is not mid or west. When I go back to Michigan, I drive through Ohio. There is off I-75 in, in Ohio a mosque, so life goes corn, 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 mosque. <laughs> I wave at Islam, which we're not getting along with on account of the towers as I pass. Then Ohio goes corn, 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 billboard, goodbye, Islam. <laughs> you never forget how to be from Michigan when you're from Michigan. It's like riding a bike of ice and fly fishing. The Upper Peninsula is a spare state in case Michigan goes flat. <laughs> I live now in Virginia, which has no backup plan. But <laughs> but is named the same as my mother. I live in my mother again, which is creepy, but so is what the skin under my chin is doing. Suddenly there's a pouch like marsupials are needed. The state joy is spring. Osiris, we beseech thee, rise and give us baseball, is how we might sound if we were Egyptian in April, when February hasn't ended. February is 13 months long in Michigan. <laughs> We're a people who, by February, want to kill the sky for being so gray and angry at us. What did we do is the state motto. <laughs> There's a day in May when we're all tumblers, gymnastics is everywhere, and daffodils are asked by young men to be their wives. When a man elopes with a daffodil, you know where he's from. In this way, I've given you a primer. Let us all be from somewhere. Let us tell each other everything we can. Thank you. On digging a grave in December. I dug until the ground denied me, then dug deeper, stone by stone, reaching some level of safety. Then, time to fill it up again. I lined the bottom with leaves wet from cold rain, then laid her down gently. She was never gentle with her victims. No mouse, no shrew or chipmunk was safe around with her around. She didn't seem like a killer when she slept on my lap, or as I held her in her final minutes, or on this gray and silent morning as the earth covers her, one shovel full at a time. And let me take a deep breath and go to something entirely different. until I breathe again. The sweetest air that ever filled my lungs rises from your skin, invades my heart, forms on my lips an, exult an exhalation of kisses. Let me whisper your name on your neck. Let me caress your ears with promises, then breathe again.
by the Omumayan pagoda, looking eastward to the sea. There's a Burma girl a setting, and I know she thinks of me. For the wind is in the palm trees, and the temple bells they say, Come you back, you British soldier, come you back to Mandalay. Come you back to Mandalay. Where the old flotilla lay, can you hear them paddles chunking from Rangoon to Mandalay? On the road to Mandalay, where flying fishes play, dawn comes up like thunder out of China across the bay. Petticoat was a yellow, and her little cap was green, and her name was Soupy Yarlet, just the same as the bar's queen. And I seen her first smoking of some whacking white chair root, and a wasting Christian kisses on some heathen idol's foot. Boom and idol made a mud. What they call great God, bud, and a blocky lot she cared for idols. But when I kissed her where she stood, on the road to Mandalay, where flying fish is playing, dawn comes up like thunder out of China across the bay. Slow. She'd get a little banjo and she'd sing Kulula low With her arms upon my shoulders and her cheek against my cheek We used to watch the steamers and the hatless piling teak Elephants piling teak in the sludgy squudgy creek Or where the silence hung at a heavy and you was half afraid to Spicy garlic smells and the sunshine and the palm trees and the tinkly tempo bells on the road to Mandalay where flying fishes play. Dawn comes up like thunder out of China across the bay. like thunder right in China A 
for the temple bells are calling and it's here that I will be by the old Roman pagoda I'm looking lazy at the sea on the road to Mandalay where the old float to the lay with our sick beneath the awnings as we went to Mandalay on the road to Mandalay where flying fishes play dawn comes up like thunder out of China across that bay Thin crescent moon slicing the black night appears after sunset in the western sky. It tells of leaving old news behind and rejoicing in the current happenings. What is it that is happening then and there at that moment? Right then, rejoice and know it is holy. The mark of the first crescent sighting makes it so. And as the thin curve becomes a pregnant circle, know that the happiness marked by that beginning crescent grows full too. And then comes the time when the fullness is chipped away and marks the sloughing off of dreams and ideals, needing to let go as the moon lets go of its fullness too. And we only see the last silver sliver at dawn's edge, giving the last of itself over to the sun's brilliance. It then disappears into the inky darkness for a few days, and the dark of the moon is still, and like the phoenix, rises again after generating a new seed. And I do have a couple more copies of the lunar calendar. Helps you out with when and where to find it, filled with art and filled with poems. Thank you. Peach and pear. 